Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Guys, if you're like me, you woke up to some really nice price action. Of course, I'm really excited to kind of get this information out there if you are not already aware. I definitely like looking at the charts and unfortunately I'm one of those people who look at the charts every day. But uh, as you can see here, we've had a major rally up when it comes to Bitcoin. Obviously, we had a pullback when it hit around $11,200. But think about this, guys. It has blown through the 10K marker and it is about to blow through the 11,000 marker again. So we are definitely seeing a nice rally even after that major pullback that took place just actually a little while ago. I'm going to say that we're going to see that kind of situation take place on a regular basis. People are just pulling from gains and that's expected. And of course, if you look at XRP here, we can actually see that the same thing took place. XRP rallied up to about 51 cents before it had a major pullback. Again, people pulling gains, but we're seeing XRP slowly but surely uh, progressing its way upwards as well. We should be able to see this hit roughly around 50 cents very shortly, maybe even in this video here. But again, guys, we're seeing some of the most amazing rallies happening right now between Bitcoin, of course, some of your top performing altcoins. I'm going to guess this is going to continue going again because of the Bitcoin halving that's supposed to take place in May of 2020. So we have time to watch this rally keep jumping. Now, of course, I definitely think that there's a substantial amount of news that's helping uh, altcoins, for example, XRP. Bitcoin might have had some of the news when it comes to Libracoin helping push and propel that price point, but I really think a lot of it falls to the idea that Bitcoin's having is going to be coming up and a lot of people want to make sure they're on board for that. So keep that in mind, guys. This right here is going to be what I expect to be possibly the next six months of a really crazy roller coaster ride. I want to quickly go into some of the news when it comes to XRP because I think that we're going to see a major amount of propelling for the price point of XRP in a very positive manner, especially since we saw this really nice rally here. So uh, some of the news that really I think is going to help propel this outside of MoneyGram and the partnership between them and Ripple. We're going to probably start seeing a lot more in the way of other companies out there. Western Union has definitely been a major talking point when it comes to uh, another type of partnership we could possibly see. And I will say if Western Union hops on board as far as a partner uh, with Ripple, I think that the uh, the game is over at that point in time. We would just need to have um, as many banks as possible getting themselves associated with Ripple and, of course, established with X Rapid so they can keep up with the amount of money that's going to be going through and circulating all over the globe. So uh, really something to keep in mind, guys. Some of the other news that I wanted to quickly go over as well. Now, since I actually mentioned the topic of Ripple partnering up with MoneyGram, I wanted to talk quickly about something I found very interesting. Uh, this is actually coming from EasyXRP on Twitter. You can find him at Erst69. Definitely a prominent follow when it comes to being another voice in the XRP community. Uh, he had posted this just recently uh, that MoneyGram to integrate Visa Direct Service for international transfers. Keep in mind, guys, this is a disclaimer here right off the bat that this is an older article actually coming from 2018. Now, I understand that that's old information, but the really nice thing is that this new partnership that MoneyGram has with Ripple allows them now to possibly take advantage of some of those integrations that have happened. And I would imagine just as well, any company that Ripple partners with in the near future, any type of prior arrangements or uh, any type of integrations that those companies had made prior to having a partnership with Ripple, I think Ripple's going to be able to take advantage of that for sure. So again, keep in mind, guys, that this is an older article for sure last year. It's just very important when it comes to what Ripple gets to take advantage of now that they have this new partnership with MoneyGram. And easily enough that this was actually something specified on this particular uh, link here, this Twitter feed. But the thing that I wanted to show everybody is the connections that MoneyGram has. And of course, again, this partnership that Ripple made with MoneyGram really is going to allow for them to take advantage of all of these other types of connections, guys. You see how big this is. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be in full force. And also as well, there's possibly some connections being made as we speak with Ripple and some of these companies that we just simply don't know of. But the idea that MoneyGram has made huge connections and also on top of that, Ripple is now partner with MoneyGram. This is fantastic. So again, I understand that this is information that's older, but you got to keep in mind, guys, that any integration that was made uh, with any of these companies that are going to possibly partner up with Ripple, Ripple could possibly now take advantage of all of that. So huge, huge exponential growth when it comes to what Ripple's trying to do here. And imagine what that's going to do to the price point of XRP. I want to go into a couple other things just as well. 
And even David Schwartz, who is most certainly a prominent figure of Ripple, the company, has come out talking about how uh, XRP could be positively affected by this new MoneyGram and Ripple partnership. He actually took to Twitter to talk about this here. Someone actually asked him a question uh, regarding the MoneyGram going live and, of course, seeing the value of XRP jumping up. He also has a very important question that we've been hearing quite often is, with XRapid being live, why are we still seeing the same value of XRP? Well, obviously, we're not seeing that being the case now, XRP jumping up in price. But I think David Schwartz answers this in a very uh, subtle way, but something that we've all been hearing for the longest time now. He says, I don't pretend to understand what things affect the prices of digital assets or how. I don't think anybody really does. My guess is that price is mostly based on assessment of long-term utility and the market doesn't think these kind of things affect that very much. So really at this point in time, what I'm gathering is that if you are an XRP investor or someone who's holding XRP, you're probably in this for the long run and the long haul, especially understanding what Ripple's trying to do on a global scale. And this right here is going to take some time, guys. And at the same time, with XRapid going live, you need a lot of companies out there, banks, financial institutions, different companies running XRapid for it to actually have an effectiveness on the price of XRP. At least that's what I've gathered from all of this. So. Again, this right here is something that I would consider as a long-term process. Even David Schwartz himself is actually mentioning that. And I think that this right here is something that we're going to see uh, eventually affect the price point of XRP as we start seeing more partnerships happening. And if you consider Western Union one of those types of uh, companies out there that might get partnered up with Ripple, that right there could change the entire game for sure. And at that point in time, if that happens, we really need to start seeing a lot more banks involving themselves in the use of XRapid so they can keep up with the demand. So again, very quick and interesting uh, take on this coming from David Schwartz. I really do feel like there's going to be some very big positive traction and momentum happening for the XRP price in the very near future, especially with the way things are going right now. So things to consider, guys. A couple other things I wanted to quickly go over as well. So just recently, there were multiple videos actually circulating regarding uh, the talk of Ripple, especially with Brad Garlinghouse speaking out at uh, public forums about the partnership of Ripple and MoneyGram. He even spoke on behalf of how Facebook Libra has helped propel other companies to want to get in some sort of partnership with Ripple because they want to make sure they're keeping up with what's taking place in this ecosystem. Well, we actually heard from uh, Euro XM Bank's head of compliance and operations, Graham Bright. He actually talked to a station called Blocks Live TV. And this article kind of actually talks a little bit more in depthly about that. I would highly suggest watching the video. But what he was mentioning is that uh, they're thinking about taking Ripple's technology and using it for bonds, derivatives, and foreign exchange contracts. So really, the head of this article kind of hits the head of the nail there. Uh, and they're actually wanting to do it with the XRP powered uh, X Rapid, which is really already being involved at this bank here. So what we're seeing here is that they're wanting to expand upon this technology that Ripple's offered them. And again, using it for bonds, derivatives, and foreign exchange contracts. So definitely give that video a quick watch. It's easier to watch that video and hear it and get the excitement than it is to possibly just read through this article. Uh, although the article does basically go word for word as that conversation with the video that was taking place again between uh, Graham Bright and Blocks Live TV. So definitely check that out, guys. But we're seeing some major developments take place. I I would guess, guys, that if you are early adopters of XRP or really any of those top performing cryptocurrencies, um, I would definitely suggest following what Crypto Bitlord has said, especially when he's telling everyone to please fasten your seatbelts and place your seat in an upright position for takeoff, which he is absolutely correct, guys, especially with uh, what we're witnessing with the prices of Bitcoin and all your top performing coins, especially XRP. Um, if you're not following Crypto Bitlord, definitely give him a follow, guys. Uh, he can be silly often enough, but he's very smart, and I think that uh, he's also a pretty big uh, Bitcoin maximalist, but he's also having uh, talks about different types of altcoins. He's talked very positively about XRP, and you have to take in consideration, guys, that there's a lot of people in this community, regardless of whether or not they're part of XRP or not, 
that uh, want to talk positively about cryptocurrencies, but then there are those who just are stuck in their ways about one particular cryptocurrency, uh, especially Bitcoin maximalists, and they will always have something negative to say about XRP. So you kind of have to brush it aside. But again, Crypto BitLord is someone I definitely would suggest following. I've been following him for quite some time now, for probably a good year and a half, two years. And really all he's ever said is things that are positive when it comes to your investments with cryptocurrencies. Um, I think he's from Australia, so he does have a bit of an accent, but he's fun to listen to. He's fun to actually take in consideration when it comes to, again, what he knows and the information he's learning, just like when you guys listen to my videos or any other content creator out there. So again, guys, I think it's time for us to fasten our seatbelts and place our seats in the upright position because this is takeoff. And guys, if you don't think that we're about to take off, then might I end this video with this last article here to hopefully open everybody's eyes where we see that Swift announces it's going all in on blockchain and open finance. Guys, this right here alone is huge. And we've definitely heard how Ripple was either going to be a competitor or possibly even a disruptor of Swift. But now that we're seeing that they're all in on this entire process, I don't think it really matters at this point in time. I think that they're going to find the company that's going to help access uh, this particular market the fastest uh, and of course the most scalable way and we know right off the bat that XRP is that particular digital asset so guys this is absolutely huge for the entire ecosystem for the price and the trajectory of all of our cryptocurrencies especially XRP and think about this if this right here is a roller coaster ride that we're dealing with and Swift starts dumping all of their funds in and out of the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem with the 11,000 plus banks that they have connected to them think about where the prices of all of those top performing cryptocurrencies are going to go it will no longer be a roller coaster ride it'll be just like crypto bitlord said this will be one of those things where you need to fasten your seat belts put your seat in the upright position because this takeoff is going straight to mars possibly even outside of the solar system so i just wanted to end this video on that guys Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Thank you for also being a part of this channel here. If you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Please get this information out there, guys. I don't know how much time we have before early adopters are no longer going to be able to have the same benefit that we are. So please get this information out there to as many people as you possibly can. Let them know this right here is takeoff time, guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.